Good morning, Gail. Hey, Kat. Hey, on this, this up? on this dreary July morning. Oh, I know. <laughs> you know what? I read that most of the rest of this country is in the the uh, crux of a heat wave right no. now, and not us. We, we can barely break 60. We got droughts going on in the world, oh, and we've man. got rain. Too and much rain, cold. I guess. My garden's happy though. So, so is mine. Come to think of it, our tomato plants have stalks the size of my arm. <laughs> exactly. So um, I would like for you to tell me the differences, the the similarities, the good and the bad about these two little soldiers here. The yeah. dream up, and which the is the new, this is the yes. newer, newer version of the dream and the Sylvia. Okay. Okay. They both have brass boilers. Okay. Uh, this one is eight ounces, about eight ounces, just shy of, and this mm -hmm. is twelve ounces. Okay. Uh, copper tubing in here. Uh, this one will have silicone tubing on the inside of it. Okay. Comes with a pressurized porta filter, fifty-seven millimeter, mm -hmm. an unusual size. Mm -hmm. You can get a non-pressurized basket for it to go into it. Okay, so it's not a porta filter; it's a basket. Just the basket. Okay. Yep. Just and the in the basket. U.S., it comes stock with a pod friendly or pod preferring brew head. Yes, that's right. And you can get another uh, an upgrade to the brew head from us. We have an assembly or a kit. Yeah. Which um dis it actually has a larger screen which has more water dispersing over more coffee. Mm -hmm. The the one that comes on it is smaller for pods. So the where the water comes out is small like this versus, you know, bigger. Got it. And and uh, so the up, the big difference is three-way solenoid valve. Yay! Yep, three rolls to, and we've done some testing with this. Mm -hmm. We don't find it makes a really dry puck or makes a big difference like the Sylvia. The Sylvia, when it does its three-way solenoid valve thing, it there's a noticeable difference. Yeah. Well, when we upgraded the brew head, though, it remember helped. we yes. found it it yep. made it a little less moist, yep. but it still was not quite as not solid. quite as. Okay, okay, so 58 millimeter uh, non-pressurized conventional steam arm is a conventional one hole steam tip. Mm -hmm. This one has a Panarello plus it, see this is a Panarello that comes off, mm -hmm. plus it comes with another steam tip that goes on here that makes it a conventional type. Okay. Water tank on the side, 47 ounces. Mm -hmm. This one has the water tank back here, the Sylvia, and it is 67 ounces. Okay. Um, <coughs> and this one is retrofit with a PID, but yeah, it doesn't come standard with that. It does not come standard with it. Okay. Uh, stainless steel on that comes just that way on the Sylvia. Mm -hmm. The Rancherio comes in a You mean the Escazo? Of, I mean the, the Escazo yeah. comes in a... Uh, what would we call it? And a rainbow of colors. A panacea. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's a cure for everything, gal. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a baby blue, a dark blue, a pink, we a were, And we just saw, like, they have one with hearts on it and Orange, everything. Hearts, you can get yeah. crazy with it. Or, that. see this polished aluminum? Mm -hmm. The whole thing comes like that's that. That's probably, I think, the most popular version we see. Like, that's when we do repairs, favorite. that's probably... Mm -hmm. I, I don't often see the colored ones coming in, you know? No, not very often. You're right. Maybe they're better built. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the color makes the difference, doesn't exactly. it? <laughs> toggle switches on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, toggle switches on that one as well. This one has a gauge on the front for temperature. Can you see that? Yes. Which, if it goes out, it doesn't make any difference because the lights are going to tell you the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, let's see, what else do we need to talk about about this baby? Yeah, actually, that's something to clarify, though, is that we've had people say, oh, this needs to be fixed, and it's really kind of optional. It's not controlling anything. It doesn't control anything. It's just a visual. Yeah. It's so if it does go out, forth. you don't necessarily need to pay to replace it unless you that's unless right. you want to. Unless you want to. Um, all right. So drip trays are about the same, I would say, as far as volume goes. This is... Yeah. This is shallow and bi but bigger. This one is a little smaller but deeper. Mm -hmm. And the three-way solenoid on this one is back there. You can't really see it's it. behind here. It goes down behind this stainless so you can feel it. It's right there. Cool. Okay. This one mm -mm. goes like this. This one goes like this. Oh, just back and forth. Just back and forth. Does not swing out. Um, and these are both single boilers. And if you don't have a PID on your Sylvia or uh, this one, serving. you got to do temperature serving. Mm -hmm. Steam oh, and then got, brew. It's got a great carrying handle. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Actually, I, I wouldn't advise Carrie to buy that. <laughs> no. <yet. laughs> okay, so it definitely has a retro look. I mean, I think it's polished. I think it looks like a great machine. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything you don't like about the Escazo Dream? Up. Oh. Uh, well, the up part, <laughs> which is the three-way solenoid, I'm not convinced that it really makes a big difference. Yeah. Um, no. Nothing. The, I mean, I okay. mean, the. I think after playing with them and experimenting with them, um, if you want to temperature surf and play around with this baby, it'll make a pretty good shot. Mm -hmm. I would say at the end of the day, I still like the shots out of the Sylvia better. What do you know why that is? Is it just? I don't know if it was the temperature surfing. We didn't do enough of it that one day we were playing with. This was about a year ago. Yeah. Um, or what the deal was, but the shots definitely, I think when we took and made the non-pressurized, put a non-pressurized basket in here and yeah. did the temperature surfing, it made a big difference. It was yeah. pretty good. But as a pressurized, it's pretty good, but it's not as good as the non-pressurized Sylvia. So one thing I do like about the Dream is that it is a little bit flexible. You yes, know, that's um, true. It's more flexible than the Sylvia, which is just mm -hmm. straight up got its story. Mm -hmm. You can do pods with this if you want. You can do pre-ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. you don't want to do pods with the Sylvia. It mm -hmm. does not work well. So that's yeah. a downside on the Sylvia compared to the Dream Up. Yeah, so it's a little more flexible. This is true, and it's It's just, a ninja of an espresso machine, Gail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's pretty. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty, too. Okay, yeah. all right. So that is the Ranchilio Sylvia versus... The Escazo Dream Up. I'm going to do a little cleaning here. Thanks, Gail. <laughs> See ya.